Hello there guys, LazyBeast here. Now the Feast of Wintervale for 2023 has started today. So let's take a look at what we can take part in and what is new for this year. First off you may notice that some of the decorations have had their models updated which is always a nice thing and there are some new rewards for us to collect as well. There's the new Highland Drake Wintervale armor customization. There's also a new Pepe toy where he'll follow you around in a mini sleigh on your adventures, as well as a new item for Pepe which will ensure that he has the right festive attire when you summon him, fit for the season. To get this, simply check the top of the cart where the Smoky Wood Pastures vendors are in, the ones that are going to give you some of the quests to go and kill the Abominable Grinch, either in Ironforge or Ogrimmar, click on Pepe and you'll get the item that does that. There is also the Candy Cane Sword Transmog that's been available since the start of December, which you can simply buy from the trading post. Now as for the Highland Drake Wintervale customization armor, that has been confirmed to be a drop chance from the stolen present when you do the Abominable Grinch quest. So the quest that I'm referring to is called You're a Mean One and it comes from the Smoky Wood Pastures NPCs at the cart that I just mentioned in Ironforge and Ogrimmar. The quest will ask you to go to the Hillsbrad Foothills area and kill the Abominable Grinch, loot a stolen present and then free Metz and the Reindeer. Just note that you don't actually have to kill the boss, you don't need credit for doing that. So if you turn up when it's just been killed, don't worry. As long as you're there when the Mets and the Reindeer was freed, you'll get credit for that. Then you can just loot a soul and present and be on your way. You don't need to wait for him to respawn. If you do want to kill him yourself, the respawn timer is roughly 5 to 10 minutes. Now what is the quickest way to get there? For the Alliance, head to Stormwind to the portal room, take the portal to Boralus, then head to the Warfronts area of Boralus and take the portal to the Arathai Highlands and simply fly over from there, should take you about 1-2 to two minutes. For any whole players, probably the easiest thing to do is head to Ogrimmar where you're going to pick up your quest, then take the portal to the Undercity from where the Zeppelin for that used to be, and then fly across from there. Again, about 1-2 to two minutes of a job. For any mages, what you could also do is do the old Dalaran teleport or portal if you've got a mage friend, and then fly over from there, it will be slightly quicker. And if you do this, just remember that it will drop you from a great height when you go through the other side of the portal, so be careful. So the quest is the important part here. The actual rewards don't come from killing the boss. He doesn't seem to actually drop any loot. So make sure you do have the quest before you get there, otherwise you will need to make the journey again to pick that up. Once you've done it, head back to Ogrimmar for the Horde and Ironforge for the Alliance and hand the quest in and then you'll get another quest to go and speak to Great Father Winter and he'll give you another box. Now you're going to get two separate boxes for this. One of them is the Stolen Present and that is the important one. Now in this box you've got a chance to get the new rewards from this year as well as the rewards from all the other Winter Vales that have gone in the past so if you have missed any, this is a great opportunity to get some of the presents from back then. Going back all the way even to around 2007. I seem to remember we can do this quest daily and you can actually do it on all of your alts as well so you're going to have lots of opportunities to go and get this quest done and to farm any rewards that you're currently trying to get. This is where you will get the new Pepe Slay toy as well which is called the Festive Transdimensional Bird Whistle. If you haven't yet completed your trading post for December, then there are some festive Wintervale activities that you can do to get quite a bit of Trader's Tender. There's 525 total points available if you do all the Wintervale trading post activities. Now the first 200, so the big bulk of it, is going to come from simply opening and playing with your present that is going to be released on the 25th of December from underneath the tree in Ironforge or Ogrimmar for the different factions. Now spoiler warning, if you don't want to know what the presents are, just tune out for this little section. So the new presents for 2023 are going to be a pair of festive socks. You can never grumble at a pair of new socks on Christmas. And also there's the Junior Timekeeper's Racing Belt. Now this seems to be where you can use this maybe flying through the air on your dragon riding mount and place rings and people can then follow you. So you can basically create a little dragon riding course. I'm guessing you will also be able to do this on a normal flying mount because then you can accurately place the rings, but this could be pretty good. So for this we do need to just wait for Christmas day and then we can get the toy and see what it actually functions like. To get credit for the activity that asks you to dance around the tree in Wintervale garb, you just need to make sure you're wearing three pieces of the Wintervale set and then dance around the tree in Ogrimmar or Ironforge. I didn't have those pieces so I just simply bought them off the auction house, they weren't very expensive. Then the next one you can kill festive bosses. Now it does actually list the ones that you need to kill, so you can simply go and find those in the relevant raids. It's the ones with the Christmas hats on, that's how you know you're killing the right bosses. And then there's a task to obtain a fine holiday hat from some more festive bosses. Now, Wowhead has handily put together a little list of the ones that you can go and kill, so thank you Wowhead for this. You can also choose if you would like to get yourself a green or a red one, or both. 
The task to kill the Grinch twice is pretty straightforward. You don't need to do this on separate characters. You can kill him twice in succession. So this will take around 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the spawns and when you actually get there. Really simple. The last one to gain the chilling buff is done by a toy. Now, this is a toy that drops from a rare in the Arathai Highlands. So if you want to go and get this toy, if you've not already got it, if you already have it, very simple, just use the toy and you'll get this task completed. If not, you have got the option to go and kill the rare and good luck on getting the toy. Speaking of toys, there are plenty of toys in our collections potentially already that you've got from past years of Winter Vale celebrations, so you can use those. Some of them are only available to be used during Winter Vale, so you'll make, make good use of those while you can. Some of them have a much reduced cooldown as well during Winter Vale, so just enjoy. There's also the option to take a little sleigh ride around Ogrimmar or Ironforge, which is worth doing for a nice scenic view. There's also the snow globes that you can get in and float around and just dance with and be merry. So there we go guys, there's a quick sort of summary of the Winter Vale Guide for 2023. What do you think of the celebrations? Are you going to be taking part trying to get the new toys? Let me know in the comments and let me know if I've also missed anything that you would like to add. I would like to wish you a very Merry Christmas, I do wish you all the best. I hope you have a wonderful time this year. Thank you very much for watching, I've been LaserBeast and I will catch you next time.